Good afternoon all, CamelbackTrading.org. Coming to you this Wednesday afternoon, December 13th. We're looking at window traders market profile of the ES and NQ. Well, I put these in bigger increments uh, so we could just show you what's going on. Um, obviously, the market liked what Powell had to say. Um, I, I was in the camp thinking that he wouldn't um, try to put out there about these rate cuts, but it seems like when they made the announcement with no... Um, uh, rate, uh, rate hike, which we expected. It also came out that a lot of the members are looking for three to five rate cuts. These are the Fed heads looking for three to five rate cuts next year. Now, Powell did say everything's on the table from rate rate cuts to possibly not even taking rate hikes off the table. I'm going to let the data do this. I'm going to you know wait for this and that. So. But this market didn't want to hear, you know, they heard what they wanted to hear, and that's it. There's a total, obviously a total disconnect between Main Street and Wall Street. Because I'm, I still believe people of, uh, the average person still suffering out there pretty good with inflation and things of that nature. Um, but it doesn't matter right now, right? The market's doing what it wants to do. We are, uh, the Dow hit a new all-time high today. So did NQ. Now the Nasdaq didn't. And neither did uh, uh, triple Qs. They're still about four dollars away. But NQ hit an all-time high. The Dow hit an all-time high. Spy and ES are getting close. Um, that we all go out with double distribution days. Righty, before the Fed announcement, had three sets of single prints. You know, you're not going to see it because well, I'm in eights. They had three sets of single prints to the downside with an inside day, and then when 2 o'clock came, boom, exploded. And they're the only one that pro, by the way, and they're making higher highs now. Um, we gapped higher today. It failed. So 15 out of 61, that's 24.6% of gaps that have held. We hold the trend day up. That's 47 out of 131, 35.9. We got both um, overnights. We got both. IBs, volume 85 million, the majority of that obviously from J period on, so it's above average. Look, basically everything's out of the way. I, I'd be shocked, shocked if Triple Q, Spy, and ES do not hit all time highs now by the end of the year. Right? I gave both sides of the coin this morning in my morning video. Um, I was kind of leaning towards the market coming in because I didn't think he'd give any indication. Uh, I didn't think he was going to um, smooth the market over by saying, yeah, we're going to have rate cuts. And he really didn't, but the statement did, okay, with the other Fed heads. So the market heard what it wanted to hear. We'll see going forward. Remember, this is a guy that said there was no inflation, then said there was transitory inflation, and then went haywire raising rates. And now we're talking about three to five rate cuts next year? Now, I know it's an election year. I get it. And I know there will be rate cuts, regardless of what's happening with the market or the economy, because they're in, in the camp, uh, you know, with Biden's camp. I get it. But to go out there and say though that amount and stuff, I don't know. I don't trust them. I really don't. So anyway, I did not trade um, after... I only made, I only, I didn't trade after C period. There was nothing going on for me prior to uh, 2 o'clock after C. Now look, we did have a very, very strong rip up. Am I upset I didn't get long? No, I'm not. Because like I said, I'm not going to get long right off the announcement. A lot of times we get that two-way whipsaw. And number two, he still had the press conference to come. So yeah. Uh, obviously, looking at this, you say, like, well, how aren't you long? Tell you what, I'd rather be sitting here watching this than, be, and, and, you know, and, and have the money I made this morning in my pocket rather than, uh, you know, take a short or get long. Now, we didn't have any pullbacks in Jay. None. This market went straight up. So you would have been chasing, but you still would have gotten paid, obviously, because look at K&L. But this, this, is my this is my business, okay? I treat this as a business. And I treat this as a business and my expertise is trying to figure out what the market's doing. So if I'm not 100% sure, 
there's no harm sitting there and watching it. No trade is a trade also. I say that a million times. So to the people who did buy JK in the beginning of L, great job. Great job. But I don't want, I'm not looking for coin flips, even though the market was very strong going up. I'm looking for uh, solid MGI. Again, yes, we had it with single prints and higher value, but it's during, it's dur during um, the, the rate announcement and waiting for his press conference. It didn't finish to about 315, 320. So I have no problem. What I did do this morning in ES, I shorted. Against the overnight park, which paid me that wide overnight park, which you can't see now because I put in eight tick increments because it backed off of there. I took a long in MQ and it pulled back in A, thinking it was going to hold, and she didn't and came back in. And I took a decent loss on that. Um, and then I shorted ES in B period against the 144 which I did well on, and I shorted in C period because I didn't think we would hold trend. In fact, I took that was a pretty long trade in B and C and ES, and it all worked out pretty well because I was doing between one and two lots, adding, taking them off, adding when they went back on, and they all paid me uh, pretty nicely except one. And then that was it. So, um, again, I don't have any problem. I, it's 250 trading days in a year. Do you think I don't care if I don't trade for two and a half hours? Or two hours? Whatever it was? I don't. All right. Destinations. SPY has today's high of 470.76. There are only another eight more to the all-time high. I'm not going to even give you them. and We'll see where we are, you know, how we do them all. Downside. Single prints. 468.12 to 467.84. A second set, 467.04 to 465.34. That's a large one. And today's low, which is poor in both SPY and ES, 464.12. This is reminiscent of what? The bull market. When whenever you had a poor low, the market shot back up. Well, guess what? We just did it. In ES, today's high is 64 and a quarter. And then our downside is, give me a second, 37 to 34.75 single prints, 26.75 to 08.75, that's the big set, and today's low of 96.75, which again is also poor. Now before I go to the charts, look at N period. Again, if N and O make new highs and the overnight doesn't take them out, I would use N and O because those would be yearly highs. I will not ignore them. Just so you know. Now, let's get to the charts. <clears throat> so here's our monthly. One time frame up two months, firmly up on the monthly. In fact, this can go. We're firmly up on the monthly. The weekly, one time frame up seven weeks. Remember, last week didn't get too far away from the previous week. The question was, is the trend slowing? Guess what? We have our answer. It's not. So for people who have been shorting this all the way up saying this is ridiculous, guess what? The market will stop when it wants to. Don't try to pick tops. Don't try to pick tops. SPY has gone from this weekly low of 412 to 470. That's 58 points. Okay? And the daily explodes up again. Out of, remember, we're one time framing up four days out of an inside day. So remember we said the pot was boiling, right? The pot was boiling. The envelope was getting stretched. The, uh, 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 the rubber band stretching. Boom. Explodes out to the upside again. Bull, balance, bull. Since late October. Halloween. Halloween started it. After going down and coming into balance on October 30th, October 31st, trick or treat. Well, it turned out to be a hell of a treat. We went up on the daily, and since October 31st, we've gone bull, balance, bull, balance, bull. So keep that in mind. We're at 88 million, so decent volume. Um, 
<clears throat> it's going to be it's going to be really interesting if we continue to make um, all time highs, right? Now, then now we always talk about price vacuums. Well, once we hit an all time high like the Dow just did, there's nothing above. So it's going to be very interesting going forward. Anyway, I hope you guys and gals had a great day trading. Come join us at CamelbackTrading.org. Thanks for the likes and subscribing to this channel, and we'll speak prior to the opening tomorrow.